What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Martu Sasi back with another video. In this video, we've been gonna react to how OnlyFans ruined our society. Let's get into it. Hey, shout out to Kyle for the inspiration for this video. Go ahead and watch this video if you haven't already. Every day I start to realize more and more that our future is not looking too bright. The video I'm about to show y'all, it's gonna be blurry because YouTube is very touchy when it comes to age restrictions. <laughs> wheels on a bus what happened to one fish two fish red fish blue fish what happened to head shoulder knees and toes yeah what, what's going on nah, i'm not even gonna blame sexy red i already did that in my other video but her parents definitely failed already three years in and who's recording them because if it's the parents at this point custody needs to be granted to a different family member i'm rarely on social media now the only time that i'm on there is if somebody dm me a funny video i get on there comment lol and then i'm back off i'm may look at the comments right, because bro. IG comments are elite. But if you spend any more time than that, you're bound to come across a girl with a link tree in her bio. Now, not facts, bro. I don't even be on social media like that, bro. Like, it, it's mainly because of this shit, bro. Like, <laughs> it's too much. It's too much, bro. It's too much. I'm already a, a creator. I already upload. I don't need to be on social media. I need to live life. You know what I'm saying? I already to be in my room away from society enough you feel me every link tree trying to have a balance bad, and some help people organize their different social media platforms so you can find them on there but nine times out of ten they got a bird in their bio and you click on it and the first thing you see on there is glazed honey buns and girls eating beef franks and only fans links i'm guessing that's all they do these days remember when it's crazy bro <laughs> what what do you want <laughs> all right he tried to make a cameo in a video. Now, remember when it was 2020 and they were beginning to start it off when we were quarantined in the house and it was just yeah. Snapchat premiums and now everybody and their mama has an OnlyFans account. And even if they don't have an OnlyFans account, trust me, a girl will find a way to show off the yeeks on screen. I'm trying to tell you. Whether it's... Facts, bro. Facts. They find ways, bro. Jamira or I can't. I don't take none of y'all hoes serious. I'm if they just trying to show off some new <laughs> none of y'all. And actually, if we being honest, they really don't need a reason to show it off because they gonna do it regardless. And before I hear anybody try to hit me with that body positivity line, there are plenty of people and plenty of ways to show off body positivity without showing your goodies to millions of people Facts. on the internet. I mean, look at me along on Friday. When she ran past, she ain't show not one tata, not one yeet popped out on screen. Her was nowhere to be found, but she was just showing herself being in shape. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all be thinking y'all the shit because y'all only fans got that flock in the back. A chicken with cheese, Damn. but y'all ain't got shit on neither. You the shit, bitch. You not even the fuck. Plus, on top of the fact that y'all be paying to see women in their birthday suits when y'all got the hub for free. Now, I'm not promoting them or telling y'all to go on there, but I'd rather y'all be on there than to pay your hard earned that, money yeah. on people who don't even know you exist. That's I mean, to them, you just a dollar sign. But it gets even worse. There are guys emptying out their bank accounts and giving these women money while they're being degraded and calling them goddess at night. Yo, get up, fool. Get off the floor, nigga. Get off the floor, nigga. Wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. Now, if that's what you went to, I'm not gonna judge you out loud. There are also therapists in jail cells because y'all motherfuckers need to be locked up. I thought you weren't going to judge. I'm not. I'm just saying. Nah, I'm I'm definitely judging. They literally call y'all dudes pay pigs. And to be regarded as one or even compared to one, I be pissed. And I'm not nice. gonna lie, y'all really bringing this down as an entire gender. Cause this ain't all on the women. Y'all be so down bad to these women. It's like y'all have no self-respect. And y'all feed into their egos. We need to normalize feeling shame again. Because the way that this economy is to think that I'm going to give my hard-earned bread to some random woman when McDonald's just came out with a new spicy McChicken. Y'all got me fucked up. Exactly, bro. They just, they just came out with a damn McChicken, bro. You think I'm finna spend my money on a baby? I'm finna get that McChicken, nigga. I need to eat, nigga. Family gotta eat, nigga. Or his nigga. 
Bad man Cabo paid twelve thousand dollars for some cool. What? Let like, me I'd rather give the money to my brother, knowing that he would probably buy some dumb shit rather than you hoes, bro. I'm, myself. I'm so Bad serious. man Cabo paid twelve thousand dollars. My sister. That's it what, don't matter. Zeros for some female parts, bro. You know what I could do with twelve rack? Twelve racks, bro. Oh my god, twelve racks, bro. Twelve thousand dollars. Bro, twelve thousand dollars is insane, bro. To spend on somebody that you don't know. Oh, my. Racks. that's a down payment and some months on rent. Racks, bro, I need a car. You spending that? Bit, you spending that shit on? Somebody said, imagine having all that money and still coming out of pocket for some used up box. But here's the thing. I don't know why we all surprised because this is the same nigga that got the Kim Kardashian care package. That's a little alliteration on your head top. But yeah, this man, he took the easy route and he got his body done. I mean, I guess you can't tell a grown ass man what to do with his money, but I'm pretty sure a gym membership would be a lot less money because I'm pretty sure you got to go to the gym to keep up with the BBL anyway. So that was pointless. And here's the thing. He's also talking about flying them out, paying for their hotel, buying them bags, and then openly admitting this in an interview. You got to be pretty bold. Money don't make a n unlame. And if they not doing OnlyFans, they doing private stories on snapchats and if you telling them no apparently you'd have broken what happened to things being sacred and not meant for being everyone to see on the internet originally bro facts everything does not need to be on the internet bro some things you just gotta keep off bro some things you just gotta keep off the internet real shit only fans was meant to be for the people who wanted to get and i go by this because like i know one day I'm going to be super big, bro. So, it's just certain things, bro, I don't post, bro. Because I, I don't want something to resurface. I don't want something to come back out. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be big, bro. To know the celebs more on a more personal level. And it was kind of like a premium. When the Vitty 19 hit. You got to understand, whenever you post something, bro, it's for the world to see. Everyone started using it for a different type of premium content. And once they started seeing people make some sort of money on there, they thought they could do it too. And then they threw the last bit of morals they had yeah. left out the window. And I'm not trying to hurt y'all feelings. I'm just trying to keep it a buck. Not everybody is meant to have their body or faces shown like that anyway. There are people who invest time and money into their setups and their bodies. And then there's you, bird chested, diaper booty shooting on a MacBook Pro built in webcam. How about you keep your moral high grounds and get a job that you won't regret having in 20 years? I remember working this job and I was somewhat of a cook and I had to go between different kitchens on the other side of the building And then there was this girl that worked at the front cafe She seemed cool and she had a good head on her shoulders and she would flirt and sometimes I flirt back <laughs> And then there'd be some days that I walk past like I ain't see her kept my airpods in one day we was talking and I asked her for an Instagram. So I'm typing it in and I see a link tree in her bio. So I'm thinking to myself, ain't no way she got an OnlyFans. Ain't Wait, no, no way she got an OnlyFans. Wait. So I clicked on it and lo and behold, I seen it. And I didn't even click the link on her page because I already knew it was slow. I looked up at her and she was looking down because she already knew I seen it. And I was like, you got an OnlyFans? And she was like, yeah. You know, I got to make a little extra money on the side and my boyfriend... Say boyfriend? Nah, nah, nah. Maybe I'm here. Bro, these women, <laughs> they don't care. They don't care no more, bro. They don't care no more. You know why? The women don't care because the men don't care no more. They accepting the shit. They accept that shit, bro. I don't accept none of that shit, bro. I don't. I don't accept none of that shit. I really don't. And I understand, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I understand you do it for the money, whatever, boom, boom. But you ain't finna be with me doing it for the money. You ain't finna be with me um, posting all that shit on the, on, the, on the ground. Because if you my girl, you represent me. You represent me when you leave the house. So, you know what I'm saying? Let me tune back in so I can hear the rest of this blasphemy that she's speaking of. Tokyo, Mookie, 
As long as he doesn't care, then I'm gonna make my money any way I can. You know what I mean? What? Nah, I don't know what you mean. As a matter of fact, you speak to me as if we're familiars. As if we're friends. Pals even. I wouldn't even consider you as an acquaintance either. <laughs> I mean, I ain't say none of that out loud. And then she told me that she lived with him. And then I just walked away. And then I remember getting into a debate with somebody a few years ago trying to determine whether or not doing OnlyFans was an actual job. Short answer, no. Long no, answer, no. no. But then they made the point, well, YouTube isn't an actual job either. Yeah, that's true. Bro, the shit is not the same, bro. Because I'm not making any coin from that. I mean, that's when I wasn't getting paid for my videos. But at the same time, you don't see people twerking and shaking ass on YouTube. Well, actually, you you can't compare YouTube to OnlyFans. Yeah, you I can. wouldn't be ashamed of telling people I do YouTube, but I'd be embarrassed to even utter the words that I do OnlyFans. Would you rather someone walk up to you and say, I seen you on OnlyFans? Or would you rather someone walk up to you and say, I seen you on YouTube? And then if you go to an interview to work a nine to five and they ask you what was your last job and then you tell them that you was doing unholy things for three ninety nine, you probably won't get a call back if you <laughs> even finish the interview. But you know what be killing me? You ask some people what they do and they'll say model. Oh really? Have you been on any magazines? No. Have no. you been on any runways? No. no. Have you at least done any local work? Yeah, they local, all right. That's yeah. an influencer slash model. Yeah, all right. Who are you influencing for? People to start an OnlyFans? Walk into a room and throw a rock, and I bet you you would hit three months with an OnlyFans in their bio. And at the end of the day, y'all grown, and who am I to judge? I'm just a regular nick can't even upload on a consistent basis and if i hurt your feelings in any way shape or form i'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody but let me ask y'all this and i'm up out of here if y'all think y'all special and y'all do the same thing post the same thing wear the same thing act the same way how special are y'all really because of everyone's special facts they not they ain't special bro they all do the same shit that's why i ain't going for it bro I ain't going for it. I'm locked in. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a girl that don't even really be on social media like that. I want my girl to be out the way. I want my girl to not really be on that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of girl I want. You feel me? I believe I can get that. You know? I ain't settling for none of these hoes. Never. Never ever. And no one is. You thought you cooked with that one, didn't you? You know what? I always save all my best punchlines and jokes at the end. And who knows how many people actually stay to the end? I mean, one of these days, I'm going to leave an Amazon code at the end and see who really stays. Not today, though. I got to pay the bills. Y'all stay to the Good end. Shit. Comment your favorite OnlyFans. My nah, for real, though. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all. But yeah, man, that's it for the video. Make sure I hit that like button. Make sure I hit the subscribe button. Would you let your girl do OnlyFans? Let me know down in the comments. Peace out.